Hi there, this is Andrew Paul Smith of www.andrewpaulsmithonline.com and I'm going to do something that I've not done for a while. Uh, when I initially learned how to use my video camera, I started recording inspirational videos straight from the heart, eyeball to eyeball, <laughs> um, of an inspirational nature and I'm going to do that again today. I'm going to do what I also did back then, which is to ask a question and then give an answer. And the question today is, who are you? And I know that when you ask that question of most people, they'll come up with a lot of um, what I would say in the context of this video, superfluous answers. You, my friend, are not who you think you are. The thing that you think you are is actually what the psychiatrists, uh, the psychologists call the ego. And you have constructed with the help of your parents and with the help of your teachers at school and your peer group, you've created this ego, this um, perception of reality of who you are. And it's based on all the things that have happened to you in your life, all your life's experiences. And as a result of things going right, you have patted yourself on the back and said, I'm good at that. And you've gone and done some more of it. And then there's been things that you've not been very good at. And you've had people complain at you and say that wasn't done very well, um, in not so many words. And they... Uh, they discourage you and you then re repeat those things that they said to you and you discourage yourself and you stop yourself from doing those things again. And so the conditioning that we've received from um, from our education, from our, from the society, from the way that the newspapers and the television news report, the, the films that we watch, the books that we read, all these things um, are in, into our thoughts, into our hearts, our life experiences, and we then become whoever those experiences and that training has dictated us to become. But the truth of the matter is that we're far, far, far more uh, amazing and fantastic and, and um, life uh, bubbling, you know, more consciousness. We're far much more than all of those things that have happened to us so far. And rather than allowing those things that have held, uh, that have, 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 we've come to this identity of who we think we are, instead of allowing that to rule our lives, what we need to do is to say, hey, I'm a lot more than that. Now, what is a lot more than that that, that I am? And yesterday I, I put an article out uh, under Barnabas the Blogger. I'll put the link to it beneath this video. And it, in it, it describes a little bit of what I'm going to say to you now. And that is that I believe, and it is only my belief, but you can, um, you can make your own investigation. You can make uh, your own decision about what I'm going to say now. But I believe that we are uh, a part of God. We are part of the Creator. Now that might sound like blasphemy uh, to somebody like myself 25 years ago uh, to, to, to claim that. Um, but I do believe that sincerely. I'm, I'm not uh, trying to big myself up. I'm trying to big everybody up. I'm trying to make everybody realize that we have got some of the divine spark inside each one of us and that we can be inspired in spirit we can be uh, brought to a place beyond uh, metaphysical beyond the physical where we can be something much more than we've ever been programmed to be that our life's experiences have said that we are we are much more than that that ego thing you, you've for the sake of your sanity you have to construct something. But I'm suggesting that maybe it's time to construct something far better than what we've already uh, been given to believe about ourselves or what we've accepted and trusted and put ourselves out, uh, our identity out there as being this particular kind of person. So now, instead saying, look, 
I am not God. Uh, but if God is the ocean, then I'm a little tiny uh, bucket full of God, or I'm a little droplet of God, uh, and I have some of that majesty, some of that amazingness, um, that spark of life inside me. And I'm here because there's no one else ever been able to express that bit of God, that minuscule part, nevertheless part of the whole of God, of, of the universe. I was watching a program yesterday on TV. Uh, it's a, a remake of Carl Sagan's Cosmos. And you can either be um, in awe of the, the vastness of space and the vastness of um, the length of time it's taken for us to get uh, to where we are with the universe at 14.8 billion years old. You can be overwhelmed by that. Or you can say, actually... I'm part of um, the creator who made that. The very fact, quantum physics tells us that the very fact that the universe exists at all means that there has to be an observer. Without an observer, there wouldn't be a universe. So maybe I'm just the observational part of this conundrum that is called time space. But nevertheless, I am part of the majesty of it all, and that I am capable of much more than I've ever been told. They, they weighed, uh, this was Albert Einstein's brain I'm going to talk to you about now, they weighed it, uh, and they did an investigative process at his request after his death. He said it before he died, but he said, when I'm dead, I want you to investigate. I want you to find out how much of the cere cerebral cortex has been used. And they worked out um, by, by some kind of measurement, I don't know, uh, that it was 90% of Einstein's brain had not been used. And he was probably the cleverest man who ever lived. So there's so much more potential within humankind. So who are you? You're magnificent. You're wonderful. You're capable of so much more than you've ever believed that you were. You've ever been told that you were. You are, you are a little droplet of God. You're a little droplet of the creative force, the divine energy, the divine spark. You are part of that. And stop doing yourself down. This is the what I'm trying to get. Who are you? You're a lot more than what you thought you, you were before you started watching this video. And I'm even, I'm even more wonderful than I thought I was um, before I watched this video this before I watched it before I made this video but I'm gonna watch it I'm gonna make sure that it's okay for you before I post it online but listen you are magnificent you are wonderful and uh, as Marianne Williamson said you know it's not it's not uh, what we're not capable of that frightens us it's what we are capable of that is the much more frightening thing uh, so come on people uh, be inspired again you know that's my catchphrase but why should we be inspired there's a good question maybe I'll answer that next time why what's the point of being inspired so tune in for the next video <laughs> it'll be here um, on, on my uh, on my website it'll be here on Facebook it'll be here in YouTube it'll be a around for you to watch the next one in which I'm going to answer the next question what is um, uh, what is the point of being inspired so this was uh, Andrew Paul Smith doing his turn uh, his expression his inspirational speech on who are you the next one I'm going to record is why bother to be inspired all right. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening because I've made an audio of it as well. Uh, and I look forward to being able to speak to you again uh, very soon on a video, an inspirational video. So namaste, love and peace to you. And I will speak to you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.